Can you picture a world where all the continents were pressed together into one massive supercontinent? That was reality hundreds of millions of years ago in the land called Pangea, when dinosaurs still roamed the Earth. Forget separate continents and oceans, Pangea was one gigantic landmass covering a third of the planet. Life in Pangea was completely alien compared to anything we experience today. Almost all of the dry land on Earth was joined together into this single huge continent, surrounded on all sides by a solitary tremendous ocean dubbed Panthalassa. Fierce hurricanes likely swirled inward from the endless open waters. Fortunately, much of Pangea sat in the subtropical latitudes, so massive storms didn't strike too often. The inner portions of this supercontinent were extremely dry, with deserts even more vast than the Sahara dominating the scenery. However, along the coasts, Pangea was fringed by humid jungles overflowing with early reptiles and synapsids, mammal-like creatures existing before the age of dinosaurs. These steamy swamplands harbored truly peculiar animals. We're talking six-foot millipedes, seagull-sized dragonflies, and hefty amphibians with bone-crushing jaws. Pangea's geographical diversity was mind-boggling. While southern areas were cold enough for glaciers, equatorial zones were tropical paradises. Pangea featured lofty peaks dwarfing the Himalayas in addition to far-reaching river valleys, inland seas, and boggy floodplains. With such a mishmash of habitats and climates, Pangea supported a kaleidoscope of flora and fauna. Traveling Pangea by foot wouldn't have been overly troublesome, at least compared to modern times. Since all land was linked, one could walk from today's London to New York without wetting their feet. Of course, who knows what dangerous creatures lurked in Pangea's wilderness. You'd want ample weapons to fend off hungry beasts. Pangea was so ancient that no humans inhabited it. The most intelligent life forms were probably small mammal-like reptiles with limited brain power. If transported to Pangea, you'd feel profoundly alone, even with those primitive critters to accompany you. Though organisms thrived on Pangea, its eventual breakup dramatically impacted the course of the world. Once the landmass fractured and oceans formed, ocean currents redistributed heat and isolated populations, accelerating changes among living things. If Pangea had remained intact, life may have followed an entirely different trajectory than what ultimately transpired. What an astounding place Pangea must have been. A true lost world. While we can only imagine its landscapes and inhabitants, it's clear this supercontinent hosted some of the strangest chapters in our planet's epic story. A time before humans, when the globe was dominated by mighty dinosaurs and exotic ancient life. If only we had access to a time machine to experience Pangea's grandiosis firsthand. But alas, all we can do is conjure images of this primordial realm using fossils, geology, and imagination. Let me know in the comments if you could visit any time period on Earth. Would you choose the Pangea era? Why or why not? I'm curious to hear your thoughts.